I'm Robin Curian, and you are watching Run It With Robin. Today, it's all about wedding dresses. Toilet paper wedding dresses, that is. And I am here with CheapChicWeddings.com and Quilted Northern as they find out who the lucky winner is going to be to get that $10,000 grand prize. Stay tuned, you don't wanna miss this. Did you like the wedding gowns? Oh, they were all incredible. I mean, if you look at just the craftsmanship in many of the gowns, um, it's hard to believe that, you know, it was made out of tape and glue and quilted Northern Bath tissue. And so being able to kind of see how the product could come to life, um, particularly in, 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 in the fashion world, I mean, what stronger test for a product, right, than on a fashion runway? What was um, one of the reasons why you chose the winner? The, the workmanship and the detail, also that it was really a true wedding dress. I don't prejudge because photos just don't do the translation. So when you see them in person, right? Did you see the photos? No, before? I did, I did. And you're right, they don't do justice. So when you see them in person, you see the beadwork and the lace detail and like the tassel, like the tassel dress. Like she had 6,000 beads on that dress. I mean, to make that in general is challenging, but to make it with toilet paper. How did you feel about the three winners? Because they're going to be up in Ripley's pretty soon. Oh, absolutely. I think they, the judges did a great job. They are certainly in my top. I just, they uh, detail and beautiful, intricate work that they do. I mean, these look like couture gowns. How long did it take you to make this? Uh, I think it's like three weeks because um, I stopped doing this because my mom was died and my nephew died in the same time. I mean, like just a week and after my mom's funeral so I stop it and start doing this again because um, you know oh I need to do this for my mom and I was named my dress as Maria which is my mom's name. This was beautiful Mama, Mama said it was gorgeous I mean how long did it take you to make this? It actually made close to three months. Woo, how, much, how many rolls of toilet paper did you have to use? Um, you know, when you start working, you never count toilet paper, but it was a whole box that I bought. I want to say it was like 12, maybe 16. I love this. It does look like a real wedding dress, which is really cool, and that's what you were going for. Yeah, I wanted it to be something that you might actually see, or sometimes it's fun. Not, It's fun to kind of trick people. Little do they know it's made out of toilet paper. Exactly. Now, is this a heavy dress to wear right now? It's not too heavy. It's like a regular dress that would be this design, I would imagine. Um, it's not light because it's a thick fabric, but it's very comfortable to wear. I would totally wear it. How did you come up with the concept, this theme? For me, I got inspired this year by the designer Bauman, who uh, did a show in Paris last year, his fall show featured uh, tassels and embellishments, pearls, and scroll work. Now, are these tassels actually made out of toilet paper? Yes, Quilted Northern, wow. Yes, mm -hmm. Completely, the whole thing is all toilet paper. Now, how many rolls of toilet paper did you use for this? I used uh, 34. What was your concept of making this this year? Uh, well, I love lace. I love bridal, uh, bridal lace, you know, for a wedding dress. So I definitely wanted to kind of showcase that without you know, hiding it. So I didn't do a base fabric, so I cut everything out and glued it all together. Guys, this is actual toilet paper. It feels so nice. It looks like a real wedding gown. How long did it take you to make this? Um, it took probably close to four months. Um, a lot of prep, a lot of planning, and a lot of gluing and taping and sewing. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did touch the gown, the the gown part, and it's really thick. So you did you sew that together? Um, I did. Yeah, it's a lot of um, strips of toilet paper, around 160 that were stitched together um, to make that into fabric. Now, how many rolls did you have to use for this? Um, 49. And you also made a really cute bouquet out of toilet paper, I'm assuming? Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. How did you go about making this? Uh, basically, it's all duct tape, a lot, 300 packs of glue tape, uh, and lots of hot glue as well. And what I did was that you can see the overskirt is roll, hand rolled toilet paper sheets, 3,000 sheets. This skirt is what got me. I love that you can take the skirt apart, but I just love it. I think, you know, if you just walked in the room, 
you would shut everything down. All right, guys, I am here with the winner of the day. Kari, congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank I you. saw you tearing up up there. Oh, yes. This has been the culmination of a very long process. How long did it take you to make this? About 250 hours. And I wanted to do something transformation oriented, so I did butterflies. I wanted it to be really enchanting and ethereal, like a princess. But I also wanted it to have some um, really kind of couture elements, so I handed the beads and all of this cross hatching is toilet paper, all the lace is toilet paper. The train can come off and then it just reveals a nice chic dress. Was this the first time you entered this contest? It's the first time I entered, wow. yes. I can't believe it. I feel so humbled and honored because these designers are incredible. They were very talented. To be here at the top 10 was such an honor and so to win I just feel, I feel overwhelmed.